wanted to show you a bit about building regs here. Now, if um, lots of people are asking me um, how can um, I get a copy of building regs and whereabouts in building regs does it speak about um, septic tanks and soakaways? Well, I'll show you. If you go to septictank.co.uk, um, let me just show you. If you go to Google and just type in www septictank.co.uk there you go and press return it'll then take you to my site like that and on the um, left hand side here you see it there on the left hand side you'll see it says building rig section h get your free copy well you can get your free copy there okay so all you need to do is click that all right and it'll take you to um a screen like this and um, lots of people want wanting building regs at the moment because you know there's some big changes coming and um you can get a free copy here as you can see there all you've got to do is put your name and your email address there so let's just show you sales at septictank.co.uk and then you click submit and what you'll get is this you'll get a free copy of me of section h of the building regs now, Section H is a government document, okay, as you're probably aware anyway. It's a government document, and it deals with foul water drainage, wastewater treatment systems and cesspools, rainwater drainage, and um, buildings over sewers, separate systems of drainage and solids waste storage. So I thought we'd just have a look at... Um, some basic points today if you've got a, a a septic tank so let me just scroll down well first of all look you've got the contents here um so let's scroll down there got tons of things um just one thing here section h of the building rigs is primarily guidance um much of it is not law okay uh, people think that when the building control man comes around and he says you've got to do this and you've got to do that or else it's illegal because building eggs doesn't state it it's not true in every instance um it says here um the document is one in a series that has been um approved and issued by the secretary of state for the purpose of providing practical guidance okay it says they approved documents are intended to provide guidance for some of the more common building situations however there may well be alternative ways of achieving compliance with the regulations okay so 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 lots of it is guidance some of it is carved in stone and um, without mudding the water we can um, I'm going to crack on. Uh, so the first bit of section H there, past the plumbing. Then you've got section two, foul drainage, which is obviously the pipes leading from the from the property to manhole chambers, and leading to the septic tank or sewage treatment plant. Very interesting stuff. Very very interesting indeed. <clears throat> Oh, right. oh, here we go. Guidance. Here we go. So let's just give you a, 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 a brief overview of what the secretary this Now, these these um, requirements by the secretary of state are the law. If you look at what he's got to say here is the law and everything else basically is a principle. OK, so just starting with here, it says here. If the Secretary of State, in the Secretary of State's view, the requirements of H2, Section H of the building will, regs will be met if wastewater treatment systems have sufficient capacity to enable the breakdown and settlement of solid matter in the wastewater from buildings. All right, so this is talking about domestic um, units now. So let's give you an example of that. Let's say you've got, um, you only need a thousand litres 
of let's say your house is producing a thousand liters a day all right the inhabitants are producing a thousand liters of liquid wastewater a day uh, british water have come up with the figures that you need about two thousand liters as a rough dilution rate so if you were sizing a tank based on the house producing a thousand liters a day then you'd need a minimum of, of a three thousand liter tank all right so it says here um wastewater treatment systems are sited let me just put that up there there we go have are sited and constructed so as to prevent overloading of the receiving water all right so they're man enough to cater for the um discharge cesspools have sufficient capacity to store the foul water from the building until they're emptied so if you've got a cesspool which is a sealed unit then it's got to be big enough to take water that's coming from a property and let's say they ring an emptying firm and the emptying firm can't do it typically you know no emptying firms can generally do it on the same day you're lucky if they can do it the next day normally three to four days right so um in that instance yeah cesspool will not only have to cater for uh, those three to four days um but also the time you know so let's say for example um you notice it's full um and it takes three or four days to get full and then it's going to take three or four days for the septic tank emptying man to get to you so you'd have to make sure that the capacity of the tank catered for you say in this instance for a week a week's worth of wastewater maybe a tiny bit more in case they were delayed and so that's basically what that law means there wastewater treatment systems and cesspools are sited and constructed so as not to be prejudiced to health health or a nuisance all right so um in this instance um they uh, especially from the first of jan 2020 um they won't discharge into watercourses which could pollute them and that is carried on here and that is carried on here too and also this is interesting if you live along a river bank stream bed um any other kind of water course that's prone to flooding then obviously you'd have to make sure that it was um adequately anchored down so it couldn't pop up and also if it was flooded then it couldn't contaminate um the water wouldn't leak out of it and contaminate the, with the flood water you know so if you've got a high water table or high <clears throat> tide mark as it were then even though the tide would maybe or the water would um, come over the septic tank it would have to be sealed so this the raw sewage didn't mix and pollute that water okay so carrying on septic tanks and weight wastewater treatment systems and cesspools are constructed and sited so as to have ad adequate ventilation lots of them now are internally vented um they must prevent liquid leakage of the contents and ingress to, of subsoil water which, which we've just said uh, if you've got a high water table then uh, you know they need to be sealed all the pipes need to be sealed properly the lid needs to be sealed properly it needs to be watertight waterproof here i go here we go have regard to high water tables at any time of the year and rising groundwater levels drainage fields are sited and constructed well so as to avoid overloading the soak away capacity and provide adequately for the availability of an aerated layer in the soil at all times so what's that saying is if you've got a septic tank and this and the treatment is through the um, topsoil or the soil then there needs to be an aerated layer of soil in the soil at all times so basically life and microbes and bacteria need to exist in there to su insufficient quantity to treat the sewage as it passes through the soil that's why low profile tanks are so good because you can construct the um, soak away literally in the topsoil which is full of nutrients and goodness so there you go so that's just the guidance so these things outlined by this by the secretary of state that's law all right we can't bypass that 
the rest of UK building rigs are suggestions and guidance of how to achieve this, okay, of how to achieve it, giving you suggestions, but it's illegal for anyone to enforce the principles and the guidance, okay? So I just thought I'd clarify that just to show you. For example, some people on some websites will say, ooh, so septic tank soak away crates are illegal. They're not, right? They're not. You can use any um, form of soak away as long as, as long as, right, the Secretary of State, as long as the Secretary of State's conditions are met and there isn't any overloading of the soil capacity and there's uh, adequate uh, aerated layer of soil uh, at all times. Those are the only two laws regarding soakaways, nothing else. So anyone that tells you anything in addition to those is just got an agenda because they want you to buy their stuff or they just uh, don't fully, aren't conversant with UK building rigs. Anyway, moving down, not going to cover everything here, but I just thought I'd give you an introduction to it. Um, all right, okay, so you've got provisions there. It's just qualifying what a, a wastewater treatment system may be. Anyway, so just coming down here, look, options. Uh, septic tanks speaks about septic tanks here, gives you, giving you guidance on how to site it, how to design it, guidance on drainage fields and drainage mounds, um, guidance on how to do a percolation test, guidance on what the drainage field should look like. Again, this is all guidance. These are not laws, right? There's a difference. So if someone says that, look, you've got to make your drainage field like that or it's illegal, I'm talking through the hat, all right? It's illegal what they're doing, all right? Telling you that. These are just principles. Drainage mounds, loads of different ways of doing um, um, in drainage fields. Even wetlands and reed beds, look. Uh, look at that. Really interesting. I love reed beds. But... Um, if you've got a good sewage treatment plant, they, they can be like, you don't get me wrong, you can't beat nature, but if you've got a natural um, sewage treatment plant, then they really, really, really achieve the same, you know, to the same degree. If you've got an organic one, here we go, we're getting onto cesspools now, packaged sewage treatment work uh, plants, um, cesspools, uh, gray water, rainwater storage tanks and um yeah there you go oh here you go maintenance maintenance of wastewater treatment systems and cesspools look at that so this is very interesting as well again it's guidance okay so um and some of it is 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 common sense. Um, uh, for example, in on the um, general binding rules, um, power to require repairs. So, you, if if you're prone to power cuts and you're going to lose power on your motors and your compressors all the time, then obviously the system isn't going to function properly. So, based on that, you could be a, a pollution risk or um it may cause i don't know other other symptoms to occur which could um lead to prosecution so you know so it's all very interesting stuff so guidance on maintenance and um there you go here's what i was telling you before the requirement okay you know what i was speaking about the law so up here just going back sorry if this is making your eyes dizzy but just going back here we go. This is the law. Let's just make this a bit bigger. There we go. So this is the law. And uh, we've we've looked at the law, but the law is in green, the requirement. That's why it's called requirement. And um, everything else 
is basically just principle. So it's very, very interesting stuff. Very, very interesting. I love septic tanks and sewage treatment plants and soakaways. And um, I'm going to deal a lot more with the law in the next coming weeks and months. But I just thought I'd show you if you want a free copy of Section H of the Building Regs, then all you need to do is, as I said, I'll just rewind, go to septic tank. UK. There you go. And in the left hand side, there you see Building Rig Section H. Get your free copy. And you can get your free copy, and it's fantastic. And um, you can check on a lot of the rules and guidance yourself, and um, which will help you so you don't have to, um, you know, wonder about all the conflicting information on the internet, you can actually determine for yourself what's right and what's wrong, you know. I obviously try and help people to do that, but this is a, a, a means by which you can, you know, know what's what yourself. Uh, one thing I would suggest is if you've, you're a septic tank or sewage treatment plant owner, then get yourself a government compliance form. Again, just go to septictank.co.uk, they're on here. The septic tank ban is coming. Uh, whereas people who are breaking the rules and regulations, the laws that we've spoken about in Section H of the Building Regs, they'll be fined and prosecution, prosecuted and the septic tanks will be banned. But if you go on to septictank.co.uk, <clears throat> you click that there, there's the form I'm talking about. But if you just scroll to the bottom, put your name, so it's Jason, look, and your email address here, Click submit. I will then send you a free UK government sub compliance form. I'm not sure if I've got one on the screen here. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. There, look. Okay, so, and that's the form you get. And you put one of those in your kitchen. You lodge one with your solicitor. It'll make your um, sewage treatment plant and septic tank compliant before all the rules and regulations come into force and you'll save thousands of pounds you literally will when you come to sell your property so there you go so that's everything going on in septic tank on my website septictank.co.uk there's loads of other stuff on there um it's quite basic my site because um i mainly make lots of videos if you want to um see more about me and who i am what i do just go to Facebook. There you go. And I've got a website on here, which is, if this loads up in time, um, come on. What's going on? There we go. It's uh, Septic Tank Company. And this is my official um, web page here. It's loading up, just been slow today. Look. But this is my official web page that officially is loading up very slowly i don't know why and um ah here we go i uh, just gone to posts and there's tons and tons and tons and tons of information on here tons and tons of free videos that i do for people even the broadcast i'm doing now um this live broadcast will um be posted on there in fact there it is look live this is this is what you're seeing now live look at that Wow, it's incredible, isn't it? Technology today. But anyway, yeah, Facebook, um, Septic Tank Company, just type that in or go to, as I said, septictank.co.uk. And, you know, there's tons of information on here, tons of videos. Or give us a ring, 0800 907 0051, or email me at sales at septictank.co.uk, and I'll help you for free. That's what I do. That's what I love doing. So, listen, thank you very much for watching this uh taking the time out to watch my and listen to my live broadcast today. Um, you have a great day today and I will catch you later.